Hey everybody, this is Mark. I'm going to take just a couple minutes and show you um, what's called Activity Builder that's within Smart Notebook 11 software. Activity Builder allows you to build interactive activities for your students. You'll notice I have a pretty simple activity over here in which the students would identify the president by dragging and dropping the name onto the picture. If you'll notice, each of these picture, each of these names, if they were dragged to the picture, would stay on top, and only with teacher input or other students would you know if the answer was correct or incorrect. What Activity Builder allows you to do is create some interactive games or activities for your students in which their actions are either accepted or rejected by what's called the activity object. This is great for matching, sorting, and other, and other activities of similar nature. First thing you're going to want to decide on is what is your activity object in the activity. The activity object is the object that other objects are brought to and decided if they're accepted or rejected. For purposes of this activity, President Obama in this rectangle would be my activity object because I'm bringing the other objects to that place. In order to start with your activity object, what you would do is select it as an object. While you are in Activity Builder, simply click Edit. That turned this rectangle into my activity object. What I have to do now is decide on the rest of my objects, which are in this case names, if they will be accepted by or rejected by my activity object. And to do this, you simply take each one individually and bring it over here, either to accept these objects or reject these objects. So I'm going to put this object, which says Lincoln, into the reject box, this object, which says Obama, into the accept box, and this object, which says Washington, into the reject box. Once you're happy with that, you'll notice there's X's down at the bottom here, a check mark here, and another X. We're currently in edit mode. Students will not see this once we exit edit mode by clicking done at the bottom of the screen here. Once you're all set, your activity is ready to be used. In this case, you'd have the students come up and decide who that is on the page. If you were to take Lincoln and put it on top, it would bounce back because we chose not to have this accepted by our activity object. If you choose Obama and put it on top, Obama stays on the picture because we chose that to be accepted by our activity object. If you were to take Washington, Washington would bounce back as well because we chose to reject that by our activity object. You'll notice that this is much more responsive without needing teacher input in case like this. You can also change the settings on the side, whether you want each object to bounce back, like you see here, or do something else. I'm just going to go back into Activity Builder. I'm going to take this again, and I'm going to select that as my activity object. You notice already in here I have Obama, Lincoln, and Washington. But if I click Settings over here, I can decide what I want those to do. When accepted, Objects Play. I'm going to choose that the objects fade out. So when I drag Obama into the picture, because it's accepted, it should fade out. For the objects that are rejected, I'm going to select Bounce Back for this activity. I don't want the objects to stay actually on top of the Obama picture because I don't want to inadvertently reinforce the wrong name for the wrong picture. So I'll have the objects that are accepted fade out, the objects that are rejected will bounce back down here. When I'm happy with those, I can click Done, and you'll notice that it'll take me out of edit mode, and my activity is ready to complete. So if I take Lincoln again, and I drag Lincoln over, it's going to bounce back. Same thing with Washington. If I bring Washington over, it's going to bounce back. But watch what happens when I put Obama's name in there. It fades in and disappears because that is what the correct answer is. And in the box under settings, I chose objects that were accepted to fade into the picture. Take a couple minutes and just show you a quick, quick activity building from start to finish that we can use in activity builder mode. What I'm going to do is take my shapes up here. I'm going to make two squares. 
one. So let me go to my shape. I'm going to clone it so I have two. Okay. There's two shapes right there. I'll fill those shapes. With a couple different colors. Now, I'm going to add some pictures by going to my gallery. I'm going to add a dog. I'm going to add a horse. I'm going to add a car. Quickly going to resize these objects, make it a little more manageable. I was working on a sorting activity with pictures for animals and not animals. We have this box labeled animals. This box labeled Not animals. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to make sure I start setting up my activity builder. Remember before you're going to select the object that the act the act, either objects are going to be either accepted or rejected. So what I want to do first is I want to select this animals box right here. I'm going to click edit and make that my activity object. I'm going to go on my screen. And I'm going to select the objects that I want to be accepted by my animals box and place them in here. I want my dog to be accepted. Again, if you'll notice, it's just putting a copy of that in there. It's putting it back on my screen where I had it originally. I want my horse to be accepted. And I want my car to be rejected. Again, you go to settings. I'm going to change this back to spin. That means if an object is, is accepted, it'll spin. If it's rejected, it'll bounce back. I'm going to click Done. Okay. I still have one more box that I want to do things with. So I'm going to click on that box. I'm going to click Edit. And now I'm going to make this my activity object. And do the same thing, but for the not animals. So if it's not an animal, I want my car to be accepted. Because a car is not an animal. Dog and horse are animals. So I want those to be rejected by the not animal box. I'm going to keep the same settings as I had for the other one. When I'm happy with that, I can click done. Now my activity is set up. When I use my objects up here and I drag them to the activity objects, it should show you exactly what I set up in the activity builder section. When I drag the dog to not animals, it bounces back because it's rejected. When I drag the dog to animals, I set it to spin if it was the correct answer, and that's what it's doing. I'm going to drag the horse to animals. It should spin. Last but not least, I'm going to drag the car to animals. It's rejected, so it will bounce back. If I drag the car down to not animals, it should spin or fade in. That might be what we selected for that one because we had it accepted by the Not Animals box. Again, you can set up multiple activity objects on a page as long as you assign each time what the other objects on the page will do when interacting with the activity object.